Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanisha, aka Sparkly Natural, and it's time for another tutorial. So today I am giving you guys an updated brow tutorial. So I feel like brows have been on fleek. So let me give you all of the tea, all of the products I use, and go step by step through this process to show you guys how I get my brows. Let's get to it. Hey y'all, so it is time for an updated brow review. So today, that is exactly what we're going to get into. So let me run down the list of items that you'll need. So one, we're gonna start off with a lash adhesive. You'll see why. A primer, I use the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. You're going to need a spoolie. Um, some type of dense small brush so you can blend out your concealer. Something to carve out your eyebrows. An actual concealer to carve out your eyebrows. I usually have a makeup wipe with me, my mirror, and then your actual bra brow <laughs> product, which is going to be the NYX um, Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. So let's jump straight into this so i can show you guys quickly what it is that i do so i feel like brows are super important starting off with the eyeshadow primer um and so i spend a lot of time on my brows i wish i could like make the process easier but i like them how i like them so <laughs> So I am just putting that eyeshadow primer on my eyebrows right over them and then I'm also going to pull it down all the way to my lid. So I am very oily and I feel like this helps um, to prevent my eyebrows from getting super oily. So just take that onto the eyelid um, because generally when I'm doing my brows I'll um, be doing my eyes and even if I'm not doing my eyes I like that this helps to keep my eyelids not super oily throughout the day so just blend that in so next we're gonna go in with the eyelash adhesive so this is the one that I use sorry it's all gunky um, this one is about empty and so I seen I think it's Lachey's Glams that said she used eye lash um adhesive for her eyebrows or for her clients eyebrows and it just helps to lay down the hairs um i want to try an actual brow gel for this but so far this has been working so i just put a little bit into my brows not too much and you have to work kind of quick because this stuff will, <laughs> will stick so i put that in then i'm gonna go in with the spoolie and i use the end of my other brow pen and then you just a brow pencil and then you just smooth it down in the direction you want your hairs to go there you go like I said you definitely don't want to leave this on too long so get it in there and then you're done <laughs> so then I let that dry for a little bit and then I'm going to go in with my brow pen. So my homegirl, Amber, aka Vidalia, um, told me about this pen that she tried. And I had seen people trying them and I was like, I don't know. But I tried it and I love it. So here's a close up, the Lift and Snatch eyebrow pencil. I'm in love. I have the color Espresso. This is what the box looks like. I love it. I feel like my brows look good and they stay in place super long. So let me show you guys what I do. I, one thing I like about this is that you can build it up or you can make it super simple. So I'm going to start off by outlining the brow. And I love the felt tin. It's so thin, but then it still delivers a good pack. And you're able to just build it up. It can be super dark or really light. I just follow the shape of my brow. So 
So my brows are pretty sparse. I want to make them stand out more. So I definitely go over where there are. And then I begin to fill that in. And it's okay if you mess up the shape. We're going to carve out the brows a little later. So we can get the shape back how we want it. So once you get the outline that you want, you're just going to go in. And I'm doing little strokes so that it kind of looks like hairs. At the end of the day, I like mine to be really dark. So it doesn't matter. But if you are wanting to look more realistic, then I would say just doing strokes of the hair in the direction that you want it to go. Like that. If you want it to go up. No way you can get those hair like strokes, but I'm going to just kind of fill this in as if I was filling it in with a pen. <laughs> Here's one brow and you can see how you can still see the hairs. I absolutely love that. So then we're going to go over to the other side. Let's start by outlining. And like I said, if you don't like the super thick, heavy, dark brow, or you just have like small parts that you want to fill in, I feel like this would be perfect for that because it's so hair like like I don't know what it is about like the color but I feel like even you know compared to like the Morphe micro brow pen that pencil that I love like I feel like this just looks more realistic and I never imagined that a pen would look more realistic than that pencil does but it does like I said, we're not paying attention to the shape. We are to an extent because you want your shape to be, you know, the shape that you want for your eyebrows. But if you go over the lines, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to clean it up. See my line down here is all crazy? That's okay. Okay, so there are my big old booming, banging eyebrows. <laughs> so next we're gonna grab our concealer and then our, um, we wanna get something that has a flat edge because we wanna make sure that we're getting those in there precisely. So I'm just gonna take some of the concealer on the back of my hand. This one is getting kinda low, but just get a mount like that. gonna take some I just lay it flat on there and then we're just gonna trace the bottom of the eyebrow and carve out the area you want and then also I'm gonna drag some of that down because this is also gonna act as a base for our eyeshadow There we are. So then we're gonna take that dense brush we had and we're just gonna blend out that concealer. Under the eye. And then we're gonna go on top of the brow. And carve that out. This part I feel like is so tricky. I feel like it's hard for me to keep my hand steady sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, you can rest your hand on your face or wherever it feels comfortable.
right? So then we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna blend out those edges. If it's a day where I'm not wearing foundation, then I most likely won't go so far up on the face. Um, I just make sure that it blends in really good so that you can't tell that there's a big old cloud of concealer. <laughs> so yeah, just blend that out. And then I'm just gonna, with whatever product is left on the brush, I'm just gonna dab into the front of the brow and then sweep forward so that it looks like a natural gradient. So it isn't just pow, brow. <laughs> it kind of transitions the ombres into the brow. So you see that one compared to that one where it's like this harsh line, you can tell there's a start um, versus this one where it kind of flows into it. So then we're gonna go to the other eye. I realized that I grabbed the wrong brush. So this is the one I was using. And you'll see that it's longer versus this one that's flat but shorter. And I feel like I have better control with the shorter one, so. We made it do with the other one, but <laughs> this one works better for me. So now we're gonna go in and do the same thing with this one. I want it to match up as much as possible with this one, so I'm going to cut this one a little bit um, so that it's as thin as this one. All right, so then we're just going to blend out that concealer. Sometimes I take it all the way down my eye. Just depends. Usually on a day where I'm not wearing any foundation, I won't take it all the way down and I won't use this much so that there isn't this glaring dis difference between my skin and then my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start thinning out the front. And if you go too far like this, it's okay. And you'll see why, because we're gonna come back at the end and do some more. So now we're gonna go to the top of the brow. And it's okay, I got some in my actual eyebrow, which is fine. Because like I said, we're gonna go in and kind of shore up some things. All right, so we're gonna go back with our pen. So I'm grabbing my pen and we're gonna fix this eye. I feel like this one came out great. And this one doing its own thing, but that's okay. We're gonna get that fixed. <laughs> so I like to bring out the brow just a little bit. I feel like this one's kind of already doing it. But sometimes I'll go in with the tip and just kind of make sure that line is nice and straight. So it looks nice and crisp. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I kind of chopped this one off a little bit more than I wanted to. So I'm gonna go in and do the same thing. Then I'm gonna fill in the area that I kind of chopped off too much. And then I'm going to use that same pen to do some hair-like strokes. Just light taps. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Now this one I feel like is cool. I'm gonna dab just a little bit make sure we have that ombre and then fill in where I feel like I need it and I really just eyeball it like does it look like a natural eye like that's what I'm looking at so then I'm gonna go back in with this one it's getting there
fill in anything else that I feel like it needs to be filled in. I want my tail to be extra pointy. I feel like this is a little lopsided. So just make that a little bit straighter. And there we have it. So let me go and do the rest of my face and come back and talk to y'all a little bit more. Be right back. All right, and so there we are with the finished look. We have eyebrows, eyelashes, eyes, lips, all of that. Um, so just wanted to come on and say that I absolutely love this brow pen. This is a staple, something that I think I'm going to use for a while because I am in love. These retail for, I believe, $9 to $11, so affordable, way more so than like, you know, the Anastasia Beverly Hills or um, the Benefit brow products. So I definitely recommend this. I'm in the color Espresso. That's what it looks like. Um, they have lighter colors and then they have a color that's darker than this one as well. So definitely let me know if you try out this brow pen and let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for being here. Take care. Bye.